Hello YouTube people, today I gonna show you yet another watch from Pagani Design. I bought this watch as to prove my point that you don't really need to spend much more extra over the top of an ultra cheap analog watch to get actually nice pretty good watch. And to be honest I was gambling a little bit, I just bet my money on Pagani Design that they gonna deliver and they gonna make my point and actually have not disappointed but about that later on. So you know I did series on ultra cheap analog watches from Aliexpress and in my opinion ultra cheap is somewhere below 20 euros because if you pay a little bit extra over the top of 20 euros you enter into the category where you can find some nice Casios, some nice used watches as well but I wanted to see what you can get from Aliexpress. So I chosen this cheapest Pagan Design watch which was 30 euros. Alex, please. Sorry, my cat has to pass. Pass by. And he is definitely going to do that very slowly. Sorry for the butt shot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for... Okay, shall we continue? Okay, anyway. Anyway. The long story short, I bet my money on Pagan Design that I gonna make my point. Just pay 10 euros extra and you're gonna get a very nice watch. And they definitely have not failed me. This time, I'm very happy with this watch. So let's take a better look. Let's take a better look how this watch looks like. And this watch definitely looks amazing. I mean, just look at those beautiful indexes and hands. How the sprinkles sparkle in the light is so playful. That's because they have no stupid loom on them. And because of that, it looks so elegant, so classy. And what get, catches an eye from the distance is that beautiful date wheel. It makes this watch look so much more interesting. It's like, wow, what's that thing? It looks beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Another very nice thing in my opinion is this blue anti-reflector coating on the watch. I think it fits this watch very well because this watch has blue dial which is rather dull. It's a little bit washed out but this blue anti-reflective coating on top of that really fixes everything in my opinion. Overall this watch looks very beautiful and initially I thought this watch is a little bit too big on my wrist. But right now I look at these shots and I think everything is just perfect. I'm super happy with this watch. There is a lot of misinformation on the internet about technical specifications of this watch. So let me clarify things a little bit. It does not have sapphire crystal, it's just mineral crystal. Case of this watch is not stainless steel, this is chrome plated alloy. And another thing which is very suspicious is claimed water resistance rating on the watch. It says 100 meters of water resistant. But I mean look at this thing technically. It's just push pull crown. It's just press in case back. How is it 100 meters water resistant? I have no idea. If I would have to rate this watch, I would rate it at 30 meters of water resistance. So even on the dial it says 100 meters. That's a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, let's check the crown action. Well, setting up the date feels very good. It's very precise. Nice. I like how this little date hand jumps. Nice. Now, setting the time. Oh, very slow ratio. Feels absolutely wonderful. Now, let's set it on exactly 45. Hands stay in place, do they? Hold on a second, let's try again on 45 minutes. Yeah, stay in place, nice. How is finishing on the case? Well, this is chrome plated alloy, so finishing is very even and there are no sharp edges, even inside lugs are not sharp. That's the benefits of chrome plated alloy case, I believe. <laughs> now another thing how are the straps straps feel very well made very robust they look like they're gonna last a long time and they're rather slim so they are very flexible feel comfortable the only problem with those straps is that the inside is very plastic very unbreathable and if i wear this watch for a longer time my skin gets a little bit itchy signed buckle very nice very nice stitching and I mean just look at this beauty 
a sweeping second hand on a quartz watch that costs 30 euros. How is that even possible? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, the one thing I could complain visually is the color of the dial. I wish it was a little bit more saturated, maybe a little bit more alive or a little bit darker. But right now this blue color looks a little bit washed out, a little bit lifeless in my opinion. But this blue anti-reflective coating helps a lot. Really helps a lot with that. Overall, I mean, 30 euros watch. I can't believe it looks like 500 euro watch. I'm honest. It looks so good. This watch is just unbelievable. The conclusions where this watch goes on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different year lists. This watch is simply unbelievable. It goes into keepers. It looks incredible. Has this wonderful quartz movement with sweeping seconds hand. This date wheel looks something very different than anything else. This is amazing watch. If I could choose again, I would go for the black dial variant because this blue one is just a little bit dull. But either way, this watch is simply unbelievable. Strong recommendation. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.